My husband is now a registered sex offender, and I hate that he's tanked my life with his. I don't know if I could be with someone that's a registered sex offender. Mm-mm. Like, it sounds like he's become one while they've been yeah, together. Yes, recent, which yeah. seems like a problem. So I'm well. Let's I'm leaving. Let's let's piss off Sean even more. <laughs> oh God. So my 25 female husband, 31 male, and I have been together five years. Mm, 26 and so 20, 20 and 26. Yes. <sighs> I, I mean, mean, not illegal. It's illegal, <laughs> but it's. It's no, not actually, the worst we've not, heard. Yeah, it's not the worst we've heard, but not great. Yeah. But the trajectory where this guy's going, maybe. Yeah, he's now, yeah. That we, now that we know the ending, <laughs> it is definitely wrong and illegal. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Um, married for two years, and from the outside, we have the perfect life. We have the house, the yard, good jobs with benefits, two lovely pets, and a supportive circle of friends. We share the same hobbies and goals, and I swore this was the man I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Recently, after disappearing for two days, he shows up and tells me he got arrested for trying to meet up with a minor, but it turned out to be a sting, and suddenly, everything went wrong. Bro. Also, I love how nonchalantly she's like, oh, he's just gone for two days. (laughs) Like, Does this happen often? (laughs) What was that? What was that one show to catch a predator? Who was the host? Uh, was it Chris Hansen? Hansen. Hansen, Hansen? Yeah. Hansen oh. yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, think I've ever watched it. I just wild. always hear that name referenced a lot. It's yeah. a TikTok account of some group in Colorado that does the same thing. I There's don't a, think they're licensed by anybody or anything. They just <laughs> to be fair, do I don't think shit. Chris Hansen was licensed either. But <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I truly <laughs> don't know, like, because there are a lot of YouTube channels and stuff like that that are like to catch a predator, quote unquote. Uh, and they like film it, but then like they don't have any authority to do anything. So these guys mm. just walk away. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they have no communication with the police. So it's like, are you really doing anything? I don't know. But mm. at least they'll probably got exposed. And uh, I mean, especially with the prevalence yeah. of social media now, it's like, oh, I know that fool. Maybe we should snitch on. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't. Bit. Yeah. Maybe we should fire that guy. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I all but lost my mind worrying for him, and then he destroys my world with this revelation. The trial went on for a whole year and has culminated in that now he has to register for life as a sex offender. Good. Throughout it all, he has been withholding information from me, and all the information I've found out has been through searching his computer and police reports and piecing things together myself. He has been begging for forgiveness nonstop, and his family is also trying to get me to forgive him. Ugh. What? Bad family. Why? What? Why are Why? you even forgiving him? He was literally trying to cheat on her with a minor. <sighs> minor? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's breakup right there, and it, like, it's over, uh, in my I opinion. I probably would have drove his ass to the police station myself. Yeah, yeah I like, mean, yeah, that's instant divorce. He has been begging for forgiveness nonstop, and his family is also trying to get me to forgive him. And they put in parentheses, my family has been supporting me as best as they can for my home country. But they wanted to pretend that he's not going to have to permanently register with another another state if we were to move, can't be left unattended with a minor, and this shame will hang over our heads forever. I can only be grateful that we live in California, so there wasn't a public notification to our neighbors, but I'm absolutely mortified to go outside anymore. Wait, so... They don't have to disclose in California that they're a sex offender? Well, I think they sign up, and so people can go online and check. Uh, well, like, I guess there are some states where you have to go door by door and be like, hello. Yeah. Really? I think so. I, Which also has its own should, questionable. It's like you're sending a sex offender around to the doors of your neighbors. It's like, what yeah. are we doing here? Would they probably be <laughs> escorted, though, right? No, I think they have to do it I by guess themselves. I don't think so. I think really? they just take it upon yeah. themselves to... I could be wrong. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't yeah. know. I don't live in the I mean, States. I would at least be more comfortable if there was like a parole officer or something. Um, I don't know. So law Wikimaniacs, let us know. If, <laughs> if any of you know this, please let us know. We're not the brightest, yeah. as we always say. Um, unfortunately for me, 
I'm an immigrant and therefore a green card holder. And so my ability to stay in the country is tied to him. Mm. That kind of complicates everything. Yeah. Um, I love my life here, my job, my friends, and I feel as I've made a real home here. I also resent him for destroying the life we built as we were discussing children. And now I can't fathom the thought of having children with him. I worked through all my emotions and I'm ready for a divorce. And I really want to be able to build a, build a life here for myself. But as it stands, it's very unlikely. And so I've been beating myself up that all this work I've put into making this a home for us has been destroyed. And I've basically spent the last few nights mourning. I haven't spoke to any of my friends and I honestly don't know what to do. I'm thinking about quitting my job and just packing up so he can no longer sponsor me once my card expires and I'll be leaving, uh, living here illegally. Uh, and they put a little bit of edit. Thank you all for all the kind words and support. I never could have expected such an outpouring of kindness and advice. I've made an appointment with an immigration attorney and I've made notes of all the important points and questions shared here. I hope to come back with good news and I will keep my hopes tempered, but I am um, buoyed by all these comments. And that's kind of like the last update they had. So Okay. I mean, that's a good idea. I'd imagine talking to, you know, immigration uh, mm -hmm. would be a good first start because it's like, yeah, it would be fucked up if immigration was like, no, you have to stay with that guy or we're kicking you out of the country. Like, that's a pretty fucked mm -hmm. up, uh, you know, uh, what would you call that? Uh, like proposal ultimatum. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. But also I, if, even if you can't stay, I mean, I wouldn't stay with this guy. I wouldn't trust him. Like there's no future with you, with him uh, and you together. So yeah, I'm, I think you're making a good first step. And then second step, like all, final last thing is just like, yeah, you might have to move back to your country, which I think would be safer. It'd be tough. Unless one of your friends maybe wants to quote unquote marry you. Marry you? Uh, yeah, hey. That's an option. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It depends on what country OP is from. It could not be safer, you know, depending. It's Canada. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it Canada? <laughs> no, I have no idea. Oh, shit. No, no. I was like, oh, then could yeah, be. go back. Why are you here? Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like, Get there. like Josh said, it's just. I can't imagine any relationship going the same. That is, you know what I mean? Like, that is for sure a deal breaker. Also, like, you can't even live your life the way, you know, like you said, you're mourning the death of, you know, the life that you had worked hard to build. Because this guy ain't it. Not going to have kids with him. No. Uh, you're scared to go outside with him. So, I mean, obviously, you, you got to leave him. Um, but yeah, I wonder if there's like the immigration lawyers, smart idea. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was like, if you have a job, maybe a work visa, but truly I don't know a lot about immigration. So I don't know if that would be enough. Uh, but yeah, immigration lawyer is definitely the way to go. Yeah. It, yeah. Cause it feels like if you're, you're in the situation and you've lived in America for a long enough time, like they should just be like, yeah, you're cool. You've yeah, gone they should, through enough. But they don't. I know they should is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's I think if I'm not mistaken, I like I had a green card when we first moved there. I was a permanent resident growing here. Um, I want to say there's some sort of like a certain amount of years before you can apply for citizenship. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, five years is is what it is. And especially it sounds like they established some sort of uh, like residence in the U.S. You know, they have a you know, it seems like they have a home. They have a like a good paying job. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, immigration lawyer is definitely the right move, like you guys suggested already and, and someone else uh, suggested in the comments. But part of me is also, I think, I feel like she's leaving a lot of details out because in the beginning she said that, you know, everything was kind of perfect and uh, I didn't anticipate this. But I, to me, I, f I feel like the guy was a passport bro to begin with. Yeah. Uh, the guy was uh, predatory to begin with just because of like, you know, this is that age gap. And the fact that he probably knew that his or her stay in the U.S. is predicated with him staying with her. So like, I feel like she had no choice in a lot of scenario where she probably brushed it off a little bit. It's like, oh, really nothing is happening, but she just didn't want to risk being deported out of the country. So I don't know. This guy is giving me more bad juju than than what's being presented right now. I mean, I could be assuming shit, but that's just 
kind of the perception that yeah. I was getting, like hearing the story. I mean, our, it's already horrible. So, so if, to begin yeah. with, yes. <laughs> so, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I wouldn't right? be surprised either. It's like, yeah, he, he was trying to cheat on you with a minor. Like, I, yeah. I mean, h- how much worse could it get? It's pretty bad already. You know what I mean? So true. Um, yeah, I, I don't blame her for maybe like looking at it through rose tinted glasses and being like, yeah, if you're not looking for problems in a relationship, you're not going to find them. But uh, yeah. I'm sure he had many. I, I, I can agree with that. Well, fucking hot, dude's hard drive must have been. Oh, God. Crazy, I don't even dude. want to think about it. Oh, my it. God. Get therapy.